Good morning, everyone, to Facebook Live. This is Saturday morning. I'm here today because Margaret is out visiting her beautiful granddaughters. So you saw Denise and Erin yesterday, and you get me today. So today we're going to kind of talk about a variety of things, and a lot of it, surprise, has to do with embroidery. So we'll start right here, kind of move around the shop and end up back in the classroom and talk about all things University of Sewing that's wonderful here today. So we are going to start with our lovely embroidery machine. If you have ever thought of having an embroidery machine, now's your time. These prices are like amazing. We've got a 500 and we've got a 700. These are embroidery machines only. They couldn't sew a stitch if they had to. They don't have feed dogs, but why would you want that? Okay, you're piecing your quilt, you're making your garments on your wonderful Bernina sewing machine, but gosh, you could have those quilt blocks being embroidered on the side. You could be embroidering a purse pocket while you're doing that. You can have your embroidery machine going while you do it. I've done it, I have it, it it's wonderful. We have the 500, 700, like I said, the difference between the two this is a 500 series unit, so it doesn't go quite as fast, but it's okay. We have the 700 here, has more stitches on it, um, designs, patterns. The cool thing about both of these is they both have pinpoint placement. If I had to direct you to a machine, why would I want this machine? Pinpoint placement so you can get things exactly where you want. Say you're lining up on a stripe, and we're all dealing with stripes now that it's almost Christmas. So we have pinpoint placement on our machine. They both have the large bobbin, which is, as if you know Bernina's, you know is wonderful on that. Um, you have a few more buttons here. You have a park button, so we can park our hoop. It's not doing anything because we don't have a design running on it at this point in time. Um, they both take lar up to large hoops. They're Bernina machines. They take, you know, both of them take the maxi hoop, which is wonderful. No, I take that back. The 500 does not take the maxi hoop. It can take the midi hoop because there's just not quite enough space in there for the maxi hoop. And they and both come already with the high tension. Yes. Embroidery bobbin? The embroidery bobbin, and are they're the SDT embroidery units, aren't they now? I think so. Yeah, so, I mean, it's the best of all worlds. You're ready to, and set to go. We have a variety of hoops here. I don't know if you know what's what. Um, they have a small clamp hoop, and they have a medium clamp hoop. And we'll show you one of those maybe in a... I think Margaret's demonstrated those, hasn't she, already? Um, but we've got midi hoops. We've got them in stock, ready for you to go. Look at this fun embroidery box back here, guys. You can buy this separately. If you need to drop a bug in Santa Claus's ear or write him a wish list, oh my heavens, you get stabilizer, you get threads, you get tape, you get designs, you get needles. Oh, so much fun in this embroidery box. When I bought my 590, I got one and it was terrific. So that's, that's a wonderful thing. And speaking of thread, that is going to be today's giveaway. I've got four nice spools of Christmas thread. When I did all the embroidery for the OESD um, embroidery open house and to show off some of the Christmas designs, these are the four colors that I used the most. So I thought it would be really nice that we give someone a a head start on Christmas embroidery. So you got a dark red, a brighter red, a green, and a white. You're gonna use a lot of these. Um, so Donna has shared, hi, Carolyn Donna. has oh, shared. Yes, in so, order to get this, you have to share, and you have to say share on there so we know that you have shared it. Um, and then tomorrow or Monday, Miss Cheryl will go through and she'll pick a winner and we will let you know who won this wonderful thread. And if you're out of town, we can ship it to you. Yes, you can. And speaking of out of town, we have quite a few 
activities here in Bloomington today. I don't know if you heard that Taylor Swift is having a concert here. I can't imagine what downtown looks like the next two days. We have football games, we've had basketball games, and with the passing of Bob Knight, everybody's coming in. But you know what? We'd love to have you in the store. This is going to be a great day to come to the store, but we also have a website. So you can go shopping on our website and our wonderful shipping department, Dave, will get it out to you as quick as he can. So that's always an option for that. Hey, Alice, could you talk about maybe stabilizer a little bit in our selection and why you oh. need different stabilizers? Yes, yes, exactly. Right here's an example of why you need stabilizers. Look at there, no, no puckering whatsoever. I've embroidered on both sides. The puckering you see isn't from the stabilizer, it's from the fusible fleece that's on the, the basket. That's beautiful. On the bag. I love it. This is a design from OESD called F. For effervescence, effervescence, I can't say it. <laughs> this is a cool pattern. It's called the Firefly Tote. So it's got a pocket and a zippered pocket and a drawstring bag and, and pockies on the inside and lining. So I really had a good time making that bag. That was wonderful. We just had a um, talk with Whitney and, and made some samples for her. So let's come over here and look at our stabilizer because we've added a few things. We have, there's three kinds of stabilizer and it has to do with how you take the stabilizer off the fabric or you know your final project, what you're doing with it. There's tear away, cut away, and wash away. So if you're tearing it away, you don't need it on there anymore, you tear it away. If you need to keep it on there, like for a jacket or a sweatshirt or knit fabric, you want to cut it away and leave some of it there. That's called a cutaway. And then there's the wash away ones that you put on top and it totally washes away. So we have a great variety of things here. We have medium weight cutaway, badge master, my favorite for freestanding lace, and you'll see some examples in a moment, is a combination of Badge Master and, where is it? It's, it's something. Um, we just stocked our stock here, so we have a whole bunch of things. Aquamesh, Aquamesh Plus. You wanna do freestanding lace? There's your combination right there. Fantastic combination. Um, we have tearaways. You can even fuse it on. And something we've just added is black. So you're doing a sweatshirt for a guy. You can use, we've got black bobbin thread. Say you're doing a black sweatshirt um, or a sweater or something like that. Black bobbin fill, black stabilizer. You won't see it. So that's, that's a new addition. Um, what we have, something we don't talk a lot about, is a press cloth for pressing your embroidery. Once it's done, you don't want to just press over it and, and have your iron hurt it. The isocord thread, you can't hurt it. it I mean, you're going to have to have a stupid hot iron to do that. But um, the press cloth just preserves that. So we have those. We have some new fun little toys. For those of you who have tried any tiling scenes, this is a point and press tool. I should didn't have much ch chance for um, preparation here, but you do you when you're putting those tiling scenes together, or you're doing something else with a applique, and you need just sometimes uh, quilters have a little rolly. Denise uses a little wooden roller to press. This presses those seams. You need to poke a point out. It's got a little point on there. It even comes with little caps to protect it. Sometimes you have to embroider, they embroider eyelets for things, like you wanna put ribbon in or tie something together. We've got a little eyelet tool. Punches out three different sizes of holes. Saves you from getting those scissors in there and oops, accidentally cutting threads that you shouldn't. Um, if you've ever done freestanding lace like the pumpkins, they embroider on them, they're called buttons and loops, and you need a nice little alligator clamp to put them together. 
that we have that as well. So we're we're ready. Oh gosh, we got fusible fleece, tear away, stable stick. You're gonna use stable stick, ultra, or the ultra clean and tear, and you're gonna use the topping. This is for sweatshirts and t-shirts, the topping for that. And you're gonna use that a lot. That's your three main basic. So stick if you're still confused, does that little pocket guide over there for yes, stabilizers help? This is probably one of the best little stabilizer guides. OESD has a stabilizer guide, but um, uh, Sue Overy from Sicky Sews, she has made this. This is, I, I couldn't write a handout any better than this stabilizer. Sometimes it's all about the recipes. You know, how do you do a knit or a mesh or freestanding lace or a cuff? What do you use for that? They've got the recipes in so here. So you can find those on our website. You can. This little OESD stabilizer guide is free, so come, come see on us. In. If you order something and want something like, you know, the, the OESD stabilizer guide, uh, put it in a note or give us a call. We'd, we'd be glad to include that in anything. Um, let's see. We're going to walk by this holiday box just, just for a minute. Here's another little note you can put in Santa's, you know, ear that you might want. It's um, Bernina's first gift box ever. Come, come look at it. It's got 12 embroidery collections, an ornament, a scarf. You can even make a leather purse. It's got um, fabric, all sorts of fun little things in there. Now we're going to come over here. we got to mention our pro. This, this is... We're still taking pre-orders. We're still taking pre-orders. You get you get um, suitcases with it and a maxi hoop. Yeah, I mean, you get the whole nine yards. You're you're great for that. We have something very special here this week. It's only here from the seventh to the fourteenth, and yes, it's the fourth. We got it in early, so it's up early. This is from Tilda, and this is featuring the hibernation collection. See this quilt up here? We've already cut several kits for this. We have one here in the store that's cut. It's ready to go. I know several people, customers that have this um, in progress right now. What struck me as fun is you don't have to do the whole quilt. You could just do like the stocking block and make a wonderful pillow out of it or something. And that's exactly what someone did. They took the goose and they made a pillow. Look at that quilting on there. Isn't that just like fantastically amazing? I am so impressed with people who do this and the beautiful things that they make. That's just one block. I wanna show you Look at the buttons. We've got Tilda buttons too. So we've, we've got a whole variety of those. So you can have that. Um, Harvest Day. I know this is the Happy Holidays quilt. Look at the divided basket. Isn't that kind of fun? Who couldn't use that in their sewing room? Or um, for a baby to have sit there. You could put your, your diaper supplies and stuff. Uh, I think just about anybody would be thrilled to have that. We've got the hibernation collection here. We've got another, we got two more quilt kits. One for the Homestar quilt in Country Red and the flea market quilt. So we have bundles. We have two more kits over there. So we are Tilda, everybody. We are ready for you. Oh, a catalog. I haven't seen the catalog yet. Oh, look. Look at the fun, beautiful things. Isn't that just inspirational? Christmas gifts all the way around. I think anybody would be thrilled for a stocking stuffer or just a gift or something just to get a bundle of Tilda fabric. 
I think that'd be great. All right, shall we go into the other room? Somebody here is ordering a whole bunch, or we're making kilts of the kits of the Kona Sheen. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's, it's got very popular. Very popular. They've gone to quilt shows and and we sell out of our little kits for it. It's great for embroidery. It just adds a little oomph behind your fantastic stuff. I want to come over here. I'm going to stop and talk a little bit about this to patch or not to patch jacket. You, a lot of you have this pattern and you often think of it as just, we, we got to do quilting and stuff, but I don't know if you realize on here, she suggests fleece for that as well. Who made this jacket? I made that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what we have guys, Indiana fleece. How fun is that? We need to make something. We need to make something out of that. Um, like a to patch or not to patch jacket, maybe. We have black and red and white and, and Bernina for all those Bernina fans. We've got, um, got several patterns that can handle that, but I just wanted to point out, there's also a coat pattern that Margaret uses for her classes. It's a CNT pattern. Uh, I think it's a software jacket. That also suggests fleece. So we're, we're good for that. <clears throat> We're going to talk a little bit more about, how about if you just pan right over here to some of our um, kits and stuff we have. We're, we're ready for Christmas, guys. We've got a banner. It's a panel, and you make all these banners out of it. We've got red and green and blue. This is a table runner. And there's placemats that goes with it the apron kit it on this panel has the apron and it has the hot mitts a hot pad or well, i guess what you call them mitts we had somebody come in here the other day she didn't want the whole apron she wanted this border so that was she bought the kit because she's using this border as the centerpiece for a table runner she can just add on then some other fabric to the bottom of the apron. I thought that was a pretty clever way of using a kit. There's stockings. We have our own in-house apron kit. Comes with a towel, comes with the applique, the ribbon. I mean, how wonderful. We have people making these for their entire family. So we are, we are set. Um, we'll talk about some embroidery now. What can you do with those embroidery machines? We had Whitney here, of course, and so one of her, and she, her talk was on Christmas gifts, what you can do with your sewing machine and embroidery machine. And so we made some samples out of our soft minky. I don't know if you guys realized it or not, but all of our minky is 40% off. Um, that's pretty good to make just little lovey cuddlies and a soft little burp cloth. How wonderful is that for Christmas? Here's, we did, um, or I did a embroidering on a towel. So just a, you know, quick little bib you can do. Here's a kid's apron class. I don't think it's on the calendar right now. We've we're, um, dates are up in the air, but uh, it'll be there soon. So kids can come and make an apron. This is one of the CNT patterns. Start after breakfast, finish before lunch. Added embroidery to it. This is a fun little jacket. It's got non-reversible and reversible uh, patterns, I guess. The non-reversible has a pleat in the back. The reversible one goes just like this. Takes about two hours and you're set. You've got a reversible jacket. How fun is that? You've got holiday things coming up and you might just want to 
fun little jacket for your office party or something. We've got Christmas fabrics. You're set. Um, this is some embroidery we did. Now, all of these things here are from OESD, and this year they, they called them Christmas trimmings. They had Christmas trimmings decor, they had Christmas trimmings entertainment, and then one just called Christmas trimmings. So this one, they're not used to being mulled around, um, is the decor. Get that on. Little napkin holder, of course. You're on film and you want it to work right, and it doesn't. So there, we got a napkin holder. You make freestanding lace. Most of these, this design here is kind of fun. This isn't with the Christmas trimmings. Uh, I found this on the machines. I believe the 500 series has this built into their machine. So you're good. Um, from the Christmas trimmings. Isn't that fun to make a quick wine bag? This pattern, this pattern, this pattern, the cardinals, the peace, the joy. All of those are on the Christmas trimmings design. If you want a fantastic Christmas embroidery package, that's, that's the one to get. The decor has all of the freestanding lace. All sorts of fun with freestanding lace. So those colors of thread that are our giveaway today, get you started on that. <laughs> so maybe now would be a perfect time to talk a little bit about the fact that we do have uh, classes. We have the teachers, at least most of them listed up here. Margaret, who loves to do the garments. Mm -hmm. Denise is going to be doing ruler work. And, of and course, BSR. BSR. I think that's coming up next week. So if you want your Bernina stitch regulator and you want to know how to use it, get into that class. Uh, she's, she's having four different, they're all different, the same class, but four different times she's got them scheduled. Uh, me, we've got Cheryl teaching quilting. Um, Danielle is taking a lot of our machine classes and she's doing both Cheryl and Danielle are doing kids classes. Um, We've got fit workshops coming up. So And then who we have to add to the board is Rachel, who's got Rachel, yes. Oh my heavens, you guys. If if you haven't ever uh seen some of Rachel's she just says, Ta da, okay, I'll think of this. And an apron comes in the next day. That's her pattern, guys, that we've got up front. I know we've shown it on Facebook. Um, the fall leaf table runner that she just did. Again, oh, I know what to do. And the next day comes in with this beautiful table runner. She's really good at writing instructions. Um, yes, any class you can take by with Cher, uh, Rachel, um, I think is definitely going to be a good thing. Um, so we're working on our classroom yes. and to be able to accommodate more people be able to have it where it is with our big screen TV and our cameras. It's uh, sure changing over here. Maybe we can walk up and grab that calendar list again for the classes. Okay. Yep. Let's see, we got more quilt kits here. We've got panels, guys. I don't know if you realize uh, how many panels we have. And we even have books. We've got a wonderful new book on uh, making quilts with panels. I know she had that, what, two weeks ago? And we sold them instantly. Um, but we, we still have some of those books there. So great way to start. And we are kind of in apron season with yes, Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. So they make a wonderful gift. All our lovely new knits. Um, what are we coming up here for? <laughs> for the uh, calendar, maybe oh. you could kind of read through there for the people who don't get online right away. These are all listed on our calendar. We have, we have the Sewing Guild, the American Sewing Guild, just met here this past Thursday. Um, so we, we're, we're kind of quiet for the, the holiday. We don't meet in December, but back in January, we, we will have more. Um, let's see, we got mastery classes for your brunettes and your, um, Berninas. 
we've got a t-shirt quilt class. Isn't that quilt up here on the thing? Yep, garment fitting workshop. I know she's shown that quilt many, many times, made from t-shirts. And how we do it on the serger, we don't use fusible backing, so we don't have to worry about that time and expense. Everybody loves them. Oh, next weekend. Uh, no, it's not next weekend. It's uh, on the 18th. We have our software inspirations, our last one for the year. That's the, with the um, V9 software, but any uh, version of software, Debbie makes really certain that you know everybody can use this. Um, we have software inspirations, and then for our embroidery fun club, we're actually stitching on paper. We're making embroidery cards, you know, holiday cards for that. Uh, embroidering on kitchen towels. We're doing a cute little gingerbread saying on a, on a kitchen towel. That's on the 29th. Um, let's see, what else have we got going on? Miss Cheryl well, is here. Say hi, Cheryl. Hi. Got Ladies. a garment pattern fitting workshop. And um, actually what's not on here, that's why I came over, is Denise's back. Isn't yes. that exciting? It is. It and is. And she's going to have a BSR class on the Friday the 10th, and then in the afternoon, a simple ruler work. Yeah. And then pay attention because Christmas is coming, and there's a whole slew of Christmas ideas. Do you know what's next weekend? Oh, next weekend's our open house. It is. How did I forget? <laughs> our open house. Come to our open house. You get to see some of our Christmas projects. Um, we have projects from the quilting realm, from the embroidery realm, um, something in between. And so there's there's going to be plenty of things to keep you busy the whole month of December. And, and snacks and chocolate. Always snacks and chocolate. And always snacks and chocolate. Yes. How are we doing on time, Mr. Dave? I think just remind people the fact that if they share and Mark share yes. in yes. the comments on Facebook, then we have... We have a prize for you. We have a prize. Four spools of embroidery thread Ooh. in Christmas colors. Oh, that's even nice. To get you a head nice. start. So I so, think that will do it. Thank you for tuning in today. All right. Thanks, okay. everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.